So hello everyone, in this video we're going to take a look at buffer bloat and we're going to see if we can improve our buffer bloat score by using the SQM scripts available in OpenWRT. Now the first thing we need to do is take an initial test on dslreports.com slash speedtest. I'll run that now and give it a fast forward, take the reading and then see if we can improve it. All right then, that's our initial score. The buffer bloat is actually on A, which is not too bad. Quality of C and overall that gives us a reading of B. So let's give the SQM scripts a try and see if we can improve that. So this is the guide that I'm following on how to install your SQM buffer bloat packages in OpenWRT. I will leave a link in the description. I'm gonna ignore step one because I don't have the QoS scripts installed. So let's go to step two. Now you can do this in the graphical user interface, it's just a case of searching for Lucy App SQM in your system and software. Click the button to update the lists, make sure you do that. Filter that package and press find. Once it appears, click install and click OK. The reason I'm not going to do that is I find the command line output to be better. So we're just going to run this command in our terminal that we already have open there. Run that command to update your package lists and then install the Lucy app SQM and then the scripts after it. So that's installed fine. Make sure you go to your system and start up. We need to start the process. So let's find the SQM and click start. And also we need to go and click enabled so it survives reboots. On to configure it now, let's go to your network and SQM QoS. Tick the box to enable your SQM instance. On your interface name, make sure that's your WAN. Now for your download speed, Make sure it's 10% of your maximum download speed to start with. So I've got 60 megabits per second here, so I've chosen 54 as my 10% off value. Again, for your upload, I've just taken a little bit off. I've just taken uh, 200 to 300K off the upload there. That's absolutely fine. Let's go to the queue discipline. Now change that from FQ Codel to cake and piece of cake. That's what we're using here. Your link layer adoption. I'm going to leave on zero for cable, but if you look at the guide, you can use 22 or 44 if you're using DSL, but we're going to use it. We're going to leave it on zero for this. So let's just save and apply that. And we're going to go back to our test. So back to DSL reports again. Let's just rerun our test. I'll give it a fast forward. So that's the test complete. We've got A, A and A, green across the board. That looks good to me. Now there was an initial spike on the upload I saw, but that is okay because that is how SQM works. All the traffic comes flooding in and then it sort of filters down and steadies it out. And you can see that, I'm pointing at the screen, you can see that uh, where I've got the mouse, the speeds are actually really steady there. So great, thank you very much for watching this one and I will see you in the next video.